Hi guys, Beaver here and welcome back to another episode of Train Sim World 3. I do hope you're having a wonderful day, of course, happy Thursday or whenever you are watching this. And in this video, we are going to be doing a scenario on the Isle of White Line, which is actually ironic as it is literally about 15 or 20 miles away from me. If you do know me, I actually live in Hampshire, which is, yeah, not far away. An hour on a ferry. Anywho, that all being said, I've already picked out the scenario we're going to be doing today, and it is summer southbound. And the synopsis is operate a passenger service from Ride Pier Head to Shanklin. So that is exactly what we are going to do. And I do hope, of course, that you've had a fantastic week. Okay, here we are. And literally nothing, it just says climb board the train. Normally we'd have got given some sort of instruction, but apparently not. Uh, are we going this way? No. There we are. Oh, the train is already here for us. Wonderful. And if you don't know, these are actually old London underground rolling stock. Uh, there is a tunnel on this route, which is a very small, hence why they have to use these trains. And that's exactly the same reason why the... Uh, Technically, new trains are actually not new trains. They're like 1980s London Underground stock as well because of that tunnel. And why can't I get in the cab? Is what I'm too tall. What's going on? Can I open that? Is this going to open? Why can't I get in? What's going on? There we are. I don't know why, but I was like stood up or something. Anywho. Right. Put that seat down if we can. Wonderful. We will sit there. Okay, and let's get everything set up. So master key to on. There we are. Let's just turn that on for a moment. Just because I'm not entirely familiar with this train. Master key lever to on. There we are. Unlock the doors. Okie dokie. Where's the door handle? Don't see it. Oh, this is going horribly. Wait, I saw something. Nope. What's this? Horn. That's all bad. Yeah, this isn't going well. I know you guys are probably like, Beaver, you idiot. Where's the door handle? Like, this is... Oh, this is going horribly bad here. This is going horribly bad. Where's the door button? I don't see it. I really don't see it. It's probably staring me in the face. There we are. Nope. That's door lock. So I'm assuming it's going to be that one. There we go. We got there in the end. Right. We can... Uh... Oh, no. Not that. Control 1. There we are. We'll turn that off. Uh, we'll go outside. And now we will press F1. And we'll see if we can get a wonderful thumbnail here. Uh, so it's going to be a bit of an awkward one because we are literally under this canopy. So the camera's freaking out a heck of a lot. Um, yeah, actually, we'll probably just wait. We'll get on for a bit and we will pick up a thumbnail later. Now's probably not the best time. Just make sure that is on. That needs to go in forward one. There we are. That's good. And that looks good. Okay. Yeah, I even love how we've got the two different type of seat moquette. That is exactly how it probably would have been on this train because it's so old. Uh, let's lock the doors. There we go. Set the train brake to released. Yep, that's released. There we are. Master controller to full series. Put that back again. I've literally pressed it. Oh wow. Oh wow. We're moving people. Right, let's. Yeah, let's just. Um, we're going to use that button. Otherwise, we're never going to get anywhere. Yeah, 
this is really, really accurate. And it actually does look like this. And the water texture, obviously, in uh, this DLC, it's a big deal. So I'm glad that it is looking a very, very good. It does definitely look like water. Anywho, let's get outside because we still haven't got a thumbnail yet. And that isn't good. So we're going to just hop in like this. And there we go. That's a nice thumbnail. Perfect. Right. Let's get that back on. Let's get some speed on here as well. Now, I do believe this has a different handle for the brake and the throttle. So we're going to need to be using different keys here. Some trains have a augmented throttle brake, whereas this is separate throttle and brake. There we are. Yep. Gonna be that button for the brakes. And being as these are old London Underground trains, the brakes are going to be very good on them. Wonderful. Open up that button. Okay, we have a red signal in front of us for some reason. Just also see if the passengers have got lighting in their headlight. Yeah, we actually will turn that on. And we'll turn on some cab lighting as well. We'll put all these lights on, how about that? Cold start, uncouple. Where's the passenger lighting? I'm sure we don't want the passengers in the dark now, do we? What we got down here? Horn. It's all this. That's all good. Any other buttons or any other lights that we can press? That door is closed. And what have we got over here? That's a PA, which we're not worried about. And none of these appear to work. Okay, wonderful. Right, let's uh, close the doors. Perfect. Just going to keep an handle here on the uh, train speed as we are heading down here. We don't want it to run away from us, so we will have the brakes at the ready. And yeah, I actually saw one of your guys' comments on the last Train Sim World 3 video that I did. And you weren't sure whether the headlights were on. And to be honest, even looking back at it now, I... yeah. They didn't look like they were on, did they? Although I'm pretty adamant I did turn them on. But these ones are definitely on. Although they are a bit dim. Could be a bit brighter.
Okay, there we are. Let's open these doors. Uh, well, we're moving backwards a little bit. Maybe I'll just hold the brake on. How about that? Because we don't want people to freak out. Yeah, they're taking a little time to get on board here, and we are starting to drop back in terms of keeping with our schedule. Yeah, let's get a little bit of an outside view for a bit. How about that? But yeah, you can tell these are London Underground stock. I mean, just look at the curvature of the roof and just the headlights. I mean, that is, yeah, I haven't seen headlights like that in... Wow, a lot of years. Could you guys please get on a bit faster? It would be appreciated. But, wait, the door's not even opened. Why are the doors not opened? I pressed the button. What's all this? Is it because I didn't press this one? Well, either I've done something wrong, or it's broken, because... They're definitely not open. Either side. That is so strange. When I press that...
Well, if the game's happy with it, then I guess we'll just have to take it. But yeah, that looked very odd, the fact that the doors weren't open. Have a look in the uh, passenger compartment, shall we? If I can find the right button here. Oh, not that button. <laughs> That's a nice view. Okay, we do look to have at least caught up most of that time that we were behind, which is excellent. And we have a, another speed limit reduction coming up here. Okay, looks so like we've got another speed limit change. What's that? Is that 20?
Okay, see if doors are actually open this time. Uh, nope. <laughs> doors are not open. Oh, I've definitely pressed the button. You've got here, door lock and door unlock. I unlock the doors. Yeah, I have no idea what's going on. Don't need that on anymore. Leave the headlight on now, for safety. Oh, there's an old-fashioned handbrake. And that's something you don't see every day. Yeah, you actually uh, pull it over this side and it will break the train. So I guess if there's some sort of brake failure, you have a handbrake. Yeah, this scenery is very picturesque, really nice. And yeah, I have been to the Isle of Wight quite a few times actually, and it is a very, very wonderful place to visit. You know, everyone over there is so friendly. It's such a nice chilled out and relaxed place. There's, yeah, it's really a different style of life to what you'd expect on the mainland. Which is odd, being as it's, like I said, it's not far away. It's an hour's ferry ride away. Okay, we've got a, another speed limit reduction coming up to 15 miles an hour.
And there we are. We will let everyone off. So I believe that is the last stop. And I do hope you've all enjoyed this episode of Train Sim World 3, of course. And if you did, don't forget to leave a like. It is very, very welcomed and it does help me out. And also, if you feel like a founder, then a subscribe is also very much appreciated. And they're taking a heck of a long time to get on, aren't they? Considering that the doors aren't even open. Oh, we're not done. Looks like we have more stops. Okay. I thought that was it. Oh, we will carry on. just let off the accelerator there we'll put that back to uh, off because we are going to be heading downhill so the train is going to pick up a bit of speed anyway Any chance of you guys getting on a bit faster? You know, not like we're late or anything. Okay. Shanklin Platform 1, let's go. Okay, look, a camera. Oh, that's good.
But yeah, apart from the fact that we're about five minutes late, I think this, uh, this scenario has gone very well. And if there's any particular scenario that you would like me to do in the next video, then please feel free to leave a comment down below. I'm always there reading comments and interested to find out what you guys have to say. So yeah, feel free to let me know. Okay, now we are. We will let everyone off. But yeah, guys, that is going to be that for this episode of Train Sim World 3. I do hope you enjoyed that one, of course. And until the next episode, all that's left for me to say for this one is take care.